In this video, I will show you how to set up the EPOS device from FoodHub. Let's get started. Inside the package, you will find the main device, which looks like a computer monitor. In the same package, there is also a power adapter cable. To get started, first connect the power adapter to a wall socket. Then, take the other end of the cable and plug it into the EPOS device. You'll need to use the leftmost power port, as shown in the video. Once connected, press the power button on the rightmost side underneath the display. Now let's get connected to the internet. For this device, you will have to connect the internet by using the internet cable going from your router into the rightmost network port underneath the device, as shown in the video. On this page, you will have to input your registered mobile phone number to continue. Once you have input the number, a one-time passcode will be sent to your phone. You will have to insert the code in the system to log in. Logged in now, let's start by connecting a printer. To do this, you will have to use the provided power cable and connect it to the leftmost port on the back of the printer, as shown in the video. On the opposite side of the printer, in the USB port, Connect a USB cable from the printer into the EPOS on any USB port underneath the display. Once the cable connection is done, you can follow the steps to add the connected printer to your EPOS as shown on video. If done successfully, the printer will print a small piece of paper to confirm the same. Using the steps shown on screen on the template configuration option, we can print a template receipt to have a look at how our receipts will look like once printed. Now, let's connect our caller ID. For this step, you will need the main caller ID unit together with its provided cables. You will start by connecting the caller ID USB cable into any of the USB ports on the EPOS device. You will notice that in both sides of the caller ID unit, there is an Ethernet port. Connect one Ethernet cable from one side of the caller ID into the internet router or switch. Connect another Ethernet cable from the other side of the caller ID into the back of your business phone. If you use a cordless phone, you will have to connect on the back of the phone base, as shown on video. If set up correctly, when the customer rings the phone, you will be able to see their phone number on your FoodHub EPOS screen. Now, let's connect our cash drawer. Firstly, connect the cash drawer cable on the back of the printer on the printer, port on the middle. Once the cabled connection is done, follow the steps shown on video to add the connected cash drawer to your EPOS. If connected successfully and enabled, a cash drawer button will appear on the top of the screen, which will allow you to manually open the cash drawer. And there you have it. Your EPOS device is now set up and ready to use.